Okay, welcome to Omelie's second map making tutorial. First off in this tutorial I'll be talking about map heights. As you can see from here, we have four different map heights. This one over here on the right side is map height plus a thousand. This one here is base plus five hundred. This one, second from the left, is base plus 200, and this one on the far left is base minus 500. Um, I don't recommend using anything above base plus 200 for areas you won't find creatures to pass over. As you can see, there is quite a bit of clipping at base plus 500, and there is only a little bit of clipping at base plus 200. And that concludes this first little bit, and we'll move on to the next section. This next section is about water bodies. First, we need to clear out an area for a water body, which is going to be a lake or an ocean or something. Like. There we go, that looks pretty alright to me. We'll start with this. Okay, now we have an area cleared out. We need to grab our water tool and go up to Windows and down to Water Tool, and that will bring up a menu like this one. You need to click New and we'll rename this to Lake. Now we need to click Paint and this will bring up this little tool here and you need to paint in that area where we want to put the water with these blue dots as you can see the water height is quite a bit higher than we actually need it so we need to go to windows down to entity properties and change this 55 which is actually 5500 down to 48 4,500. That should put the water at the right level. You need to paint just once more, and that will bring the water level down. And there we go. It looks quite plain at the moment, so we need to add a texture, or as they call it here, a definition. Let's bring up the water definitions box, and from here we're going to select water generator, which is pretty standard water. There we go, and it's all textured and pretty looking. And that's basically how you create any water body in the game. If you want to make different water bodies at different heights or with different textures, you'll need to create a new layer with the water tool. We'll do that just now. We're going to create a pond on top of the cliff. and. I'm going to change this to 5300 or base plus 300 and attach automatically and we're going to place that over here in this little area over here like so then we're going to go up to our water tool and we're going to create a new layer we're going to call this one pond and we need to hit paint again. This time you need to make sure you do not paint over the first layer, otherwise you will replace it with the new layer and make sure you don't go off the cliffs either. But then uh, again it's too high. You can use the right click button here to erase any water mistakes that you've done, like so. We'll need to texture this section and also lower it. So we're going to go up to Windows again and down to Entity Properties and change this one to 5400 or 54 and hit Paint again. I'm going to erase that little bit I just put in there. And now it's about the right height. Now we need to texture that. So we're going to go up to Import Definition and this time we're going to pick the icy layer 
which is actually a lot more transparent than the other one. With this layer, you can texture under it, like texture the land, and that will change the top the way it appears, and it will come out quite nicely if you put a light blue under there, or a frost color under there. That pretty much concludes how to paint water on a map. As you can tell, we're still using the same map. We've just changed it around a little. I haven't used any other extra techniques or anything. And as I go through these set of tutorials, I'll still be using the same map, and you can see the end result at the end. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.